Hello guys, it's me again from Monkey Visual. So if you downloaded it, make sure that you're in the project folder, go to content, then take the simple screen and copy to that folder. The content folder of your project. Now you should have there, you see this is the blueprint, just drag to the scene. There we go. Okay, so basically now what we need is to set a mesh for our screen in the um, basic config You go to the included meshes. There are 10 meshes that you can use there are, You can use whatever you want, but you need to make sure that you know this the material slot for your screen This case is at the end of the name. In this case is number two. So I'm gonna go to slot number two type slot two and also we got the reflection parameter here that you can tweak like one to zero reflection also we got the intensity of the screen five we got the screen off you just turn it off you can also change the color when it's off see so also let's go to the play section let's pick a uh, source this is basically a video file i just imported into unreal and drag and drop there you see this started to play automatically when you hit play content okay and you also have auto play start in case they you start playing the program it will play automatically the the video source that you put in there okay you also have this loop content to loop you know the video file to keep to keep it looping uh, yes, yeah, so, okay, let's go. We also have the content mapping, which is basically, you know, the, the mapping of the content of the screen. I just explained it in the previous video, but you got the parameters here, which are easier, you know. This include, you know, mirroring and also rotation. So let's duplicate this. And what happened is I just duplicate it and drag another source to the screen so as you see it keeps like you know playing the same source for both screens in this case we need to create a separated you know a separated media player for each screen just if you want to take the thing further you go to play section and the advanced which is basically the down arrow you choose the media player or you can create one by right clicking media and media player check the video texture and just drag and drop it the media player and the texture generated by the media player there okay now if i go back and select my source let me just pick one and let's start you know take, check on and check the play content to refresh it now you have the now you see that both screens have different content so basically this is you can have either one media player per screen so but basically this is the workflow to have different content in the screen so what if you want to use an ndi texture let's suppose here i got this screen there i got my test ndi actor as you can see i receive an ndi signal and i just gonna go to my screen i'm just gonna pick my screen and in the play section in the advanced i'm gonna click use custom media texture i'm gonna go to my ndi test and this is the texture that generate was generated by ndi as you can see now i'm receiving ndi in the screen so do you see there that i that i'm playing the ndi that i'm sending from my other screen so this is how basically you can add ndi to this screen but also you can you know change the the, the mesh and you see that the, your your setting will be kept now axiometry it works with axiometry actually too so it's the same workflow you just drag and drop the folder to your project folder and but when you open the level blueprint in this case this is the way i did now i'm just gonna pick the screen and i just want to drag and drop into the level blueprint now i'm going to set the an event tick which is basically an event there's repeating every frame i'm gonna get a symmetry video basically to get an symmetry texture i'm gonna name it screen content there you go and this texture is a this return value is a texture i'm gonna assign it using the set custom texture it's a helper function that simple screen had they had more so more functions that will be in their text document so i'm gonna check use custom media texture i don't need to set anything there and i'm just gonna cook my content when you go back to axiometry you not on take you know i take the this link or uh, whatever and now i can just drag and drop a video and plug it into node i just created the screen content as you can see i'm getting their feed from my symmetry so i can plug whatever video I want so i can like switch video in real time from my symmetry that's great uh basically let's suppose that i want to have 
different content for each, for each screen it's just the same i just try to drop all the all of them and check that use custom mega texture and the same get a symmetry video and i need no one symmetry video per screen so as you can see let's go back cooking back to symmetry now i got another now i got another another plus screen content too if i plug there you see now i got this so this is basically helper function so it, it it has some function that will be described in the the text document included with it but they're really simple to use so guys if you i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe to your channel check my store page you know to support my channel and to help me keep doing more content like that